Now, the family of the late marathon world record holder Kelvin Kiptum has acknowledged the findings of an autopsy performed by government pathologist Dr. Johansen Odur. Dr. Odur revealed the results following a post-mortem conducted on the deceased at Eldoret Hospital Mortuary. On Wednesday, he confirmed that Kiptum's cause of death was severe head trauma resulting from a car crash. The pathologist disclosed that the late marathoner suffered extensive skull fractures at the base of his skull untimely leading to his demise. He said this in a quote, the late Kelvin had severe head injuries. There were severe skull fractures which were mainly at the base of the skull and the spinal cord had intruded into the canal cavity because of that. Further to that, there were some fractures on the ribs on both sides. On the left side, the first, second and third ribs were fractured and on the right side, the first, second that fourth, fifth, and seventh ribs were fractured. There were also injuries to the lungs. What actually killed the late Kelvin Kiptum was severe head injuries, which when I look at them, they look more of something caused by a motor vehicle accident. And of course, Dr. Odor additionally mentioned that biological samples have been extracted from the deceased. For further analysis, this examination aims to ascertain whether any external factors contributed to his demise. Philip Kiplagat, the late Kelvin Kiptum's family spokesperson, accepted the findings, saying, This is a quote, We are pleased with the findings of the results. I witnessed the whole process, which started at around 11 a.m. and ended around 1.40 p.m. We are now waiting for the samples they have said will be taken for analysis. End of quote. Kelvin Kiptum is scheduled to be laid to rest on Friday. Initially planned for Saturday, the funeral was moved up by a day due to to President William Ruto's schedules. This is MQBA News.